man, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to show you some cool stuff that I usually carry with me. During the weeks, during the camping season, and before I started to, uh, you know, clean the camping site, give me a second, I want to show you what I carry. When I just come out, when me and Andrew was coming out here, this is where I usually carry what's on my back right now. When I come out here to work on a campus site or build a new campsite, when I, yeah, I'm not staying out here too long. The skiers are really bad. Them damn skaters. Let me tie my boot here. One day, somebody learn how to make a boot tie. You know, how to keep the. All right, usually I carry a good machete. Oh, good machete. I got a couple machetes. I carry a machete. And my, I got my little itchy pouch here. Alright. Usually I have more water or tea. And over here I carry my spools of water. I mean, a uh, spool of water. Yeah, a spool of water. Spools of uh, rope. And I brought these out here. Don't forget your balls. I brought some bowl uh, loops to fix my campsite. Skeeter's a little bad out here, so I'm not going to stay out here too long. Make a crazy video. I got um, sweet tea and my razor knife. So when I come out here to work on the camping, on the campsite, I bring these items. And usually that's all I usually bring out here when I'm working out here during the camping season since it's going to be cold. Right now it's kind of muggy and hot and skeeters are out. I just want to show you my little pack that I carry with me. When I go out and making the trails, there's a called the Bayou Trail. It goes around our campsite, hits the bayou. And I'm trying to clean it out so I carry this with me and I go clean out the trail. So we go fishing on the bayou trail. That's what we call it. We set little line traps out there. Yeah. We have fun. Alright. I just want to show you a couple of little things on my belt. Where I usually carry. And don't forget your neck knife. Yes, it's a little rusty. But Stu does what I wanted to do. Cut a rope. We'll cut somebody. It's a neck knife. It's easy. It's right there. You don't have to go like this, trying to find your knife, it's right there. So get your little neck knife, get your machete, so you can cut through your trails, and you're ready for camping, or making trails to your new campsite. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie, I just want to show you some stuff about that. I came out here to work on this, but um, the skeeters are really bad. And I did tell you you're going to have water in here, and sure enough, they had water. I'll read your cookie, and I want to show you the tools I use. Everybody goes out, when they go camping, or surviving, or whatever, they always have a tool. What is a tool? It could be a knife, machete, an axe, hacksaw. Everybody has their thing and their tools. And I want to show you my tools. Bam! I'm gonna put this on my head so I can talk better. <laughs> oh, boy. I made this other video of, of my tools. And don't forget to take your seat pick pills. And my camera wasn't facing down enough. It recorded out there, not here. So I hope I got it right this time. Alright, I'm gonna show you my neck knife. I used this baby since I have it was given to me. A little strain to keep the knife from falling out. I already had it fall out a couple times. Here's my little neck knife. It's been well used. Yes, I know I need to clean it. Uh, when I have a good time. Alright, everybody has their, uh, their knives they like to use. Some people like the knife on the side. I like my knife on my neck. I, I do want to wear start wearing a knife on the side because I want to get rid of this. 
I have a pack of these knives from uh, Miller Creek, and these are cheap ass knives. This is just a side knife. Just to, if I need a knife, I have it. I usually don't use this knife at all unless I like need it right there and there. That's where I keep it. But I'm gonna try to get rid of this knife and get a side knife. I hope I can find a good knife. I'm gonna keep that there. Put my neck knife back on my neck. All right. Now, this is my machete. And if you notice, I got a strap for it now instead of the rope. The rope was tearing my neck and my shoulders apart. So I got this, my, this strap. This is my machete. Everybody likes their machetes. Everybody has their opinion. Never. I'm only having my opinion. My opinion for me. This is my stuff. This is what I like to use. Uh, but you can watch what I think. You don't have to listen to me. It's just my opinions. Never. My opinions don't matter. It's only yours. This is my machete. I like a hook knife. Now, only problem I have with the with this hook is when I'm going back or walking with my blade in my hand, it tends to catch on stuff, and I'm oh damn it! Or when I'm swinging, sometimes it might catch. Only thing I hate about this this big hook, but I do like a hook knife and a curve, and somehow I put a dent in it. I don't know how I did that, but this is my machete. It's well used. You see where I hit most most of my uh, trees. But basically, you want to hit in this area for thick trees and thin trees here. But that's my opinion. That's how I usually hit. I notice how I hit the trees. All right, let's go on to the next item. Now, I do have safety glasses here. I just keep forgetting to come get my pair. Because the other day, I was in the woods and I got my eye scratched. So I'm going to start carrying these. Why do I choose yellow? Let's find out. Hey, let me take you down. See how bright it is? And see how brighter it got? Before. After. I know, I just love a yellow lens. It just brightens up everything. So I'm gonna start wearing safety goggles. Because I got my eye scratched the other day and it don't feel good. Because when you're swinging and you hit these little, these little things like this, these don't break. They're like, ow, in the eyeball. And this, these bitches hurt. Sometimes these don't cut fast when you cut and they tend to go right in your face. And, and that right there, these little points, those like to go in your eye. So for now on, I'm going to try to remember to grab my, my safety goggles and we'll keep these with me all the time. Now, let's move on. Why do I choose this big monster blade? I'll show you why. Most people have these little bitty saw blades and a little bitty saw about this big. And I'm watching them cut. And I remember I'm watching Andrew. He, he got me hooked to a saw blade because it's easy to work with. I mean, it was so simple. He's over here doing this. Hey, let me find a tree. Uh, there you go, here you go. Let's bring it. All right, this is Andrew with his Luby saw blade. He's only using about this much of his blade. I won't get turned. Oh, one day. Oh, one day, I won't get turned. Boy, this used a lot of energy. If you was in a real survival, in a real survival mode, and you need to save your energy, but you need this piece of wood for something, the bigger the blade, I think, never, my opinion, the better. All right, this is Andrew with his little bead of saw blade and his little handle. I'm gonna get through one day, yes sir, yes sir, I'm gonna get through. Oh yeah, oh yeah, one day, one day. <laughs> Ten hours later, five hours later, oh yeah, there we go. Finally, he cut through it after sawing for like 20 minutes. Now, when I choose a big blade, watch this. Show you the difference from a big blade from a little blade. There you go. That was quick. Now I saved more energy. Because every time you do work out here, if you're in a survival mode and you're trying to save energy and you're low on food, you want to save all that energy. You want to save your energy. 
you don't want to do a lot of exercise when you are here unless you really need that wood you really need firewood you need to need it you got to get it but you got to save your energy if you're in a survival mode like you got to have food you got to have energy and every time I cut something or swing this blade I'm using energy that's why I choose a longer blade I was pretty sharp but guess what BAM I bought a brand new one this baby only cost me five dollars and I'm gonna do a test to see how well it works oh man that will cut right through me shit that's how sharp this thing was when I first bought it this one here this one's about two years old and I've been using the hell out of it you see that uh, well the blades about the same that's all I'm worried about is as long as the blades about the same because I really don't use the tips let's find out how sharp it is I, I want to use my blade for a test that's dulling my blade for nothing the only time I use my hacksaw is to cut let's say if I need this tree and I want it flat because I'm using this tree as a campsite or I'm using it for uh, my uh, for some type of survival item I need it for my my camp it's for my thing damn this is straight I don't know if I like this one I like the curve I don't like the handle oh well it's only five dollars this was like ten I think no fifteen for this one but this baby is sharp let's find out how sharp and this is mine yeah it's about the same but it's pretty sharp and I'm like oh damn place that baby up <sighs> there you go this is my three to my twos my machete my hacksaw my new hacksaw my backup blade and my neck knife that's my twos I use I don't use no axe I find an axe always hurts me um, I swing I always miss I don't chop right I don't use an axe I can't give you a view over an axe my view of an axe it hurts the hell out of me you can use it that's your number my opinion are you sure to use an axe well I got a machete that's my chopper this is my hacksaw this is my cutter and if I want to do wood right here this is my wood for wood processing wood it's not much for me I got I don't process wood let's cut wood use a machete get all dead debris use dead debris for my fire if I use you know for my campsite like I need this hacksaw to make a good clean cut I'll use this if I just want to chop a tree and I need it just to put it somewhere else, I'll use the machete see right here it's flat that's what you want on your camp because you might hit you you might put, poke your eye on that or you might fall into this it's not gonna be sharp it's not gonna go inside you you go to this could be ow hurt like a freaker but hey it's not gonna go inside your skin or hurt you see there's a point but it's way up there you're not gonna fall on that but you can maybe fall on this one he's a blunt that's good should always have a blunt on your campsite in case something goes on all right there's my my tools I use one neck knife one little backup knife and machete and a saw and this is my new saw I don't know where we'll put it and I do have a case you know a little case for it so there's where my I don't think I got that in backwards it doesn't matter there you go there you go. that's why I keep my saw now this new thing I might just throw that in my bag Bam. now I'm gonna try to find something to keep these from getting all scratched up so I might just put it back in this little case when I go make a trail I make sure I put these babies on before I start cutting because getting your ass slash with a stick with a stick don't feel too good all right all right that's my view for my equipment so always make sure make sure your knives are sharp because you never know when you're going to need your knife 
I'm Ranger Cookie, and I will say see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.